Welcome back to the channel guys, Darth Sloan here, your partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. One of the most widely requested things from our viewers at this point is how to make it a little bit easier when going for these location and gear challenges. So this guide is going to be focusing on all the reels that you need and of course the rod has to be able to equip that reel. But the biggest thing is matching the reel to the line. I cannot stress that enough. I have already come out with some videos of these gear challenges, catching some of these. The Andalusian Barbel was tough, the gear challenge two. Gear challenge one is silver, gear challenge two is gold. So they all have gear. Some of them are identical, like the small ones, We'll use the 1.10 pound line on both, but some of them, when you go to that gold rank, the fish gets significantly bigger and you have to go up in a reel. So before we get into it, please, if you would drop a like, subscribe, notify bell if you haven't yet, because I think you're going to really appreciate the research that I've done for this video. It's going to be really helpful. For those of you and a lot of this i've just learned in the last couple of days myself because i struggled with some of these fish because i mistakenly thought bigger is better i thought big rod big reel just change the line and it'll make it easier to catch the fish and it's actually the opposite it is actually the opposite i was using the ruddle flug Rettle flug, however you pronounce that, the big reel that you can buy from the from the bait shop, and not the souvenir shop. I've not saved up and got that one yet, but the big reel that you can get, twenty two pound max drag, and I was putting one two pound line on it, catching the smaller fish and struggling, going up to just five percent drag, for example, with the rud, a five pound fish. And it was snapping my line on 5% drag and I could not figure it out. And then in Discord, just talking around to people and in my channel, I figured out that it's very important that you match the reel to the line. So if you got a three pound line, you need a three pound reel. And this is why I compare it to the transmission on a car. When you're going fast, when you're going slow, when you need to go uphill, downhill, you need more torque, or if you're really just cruising 75, 80 mile an hour, think of it as spokes on the transmission or gear cogs, if you will, inside that reel. If you have a big rod, then your adjustments that you make to the drag are also gonna be big, because it's bigger gears. If you make too big of an adjustment, it snaps your line. So the 22 pound reel using a one pound line or a two pound line, when you adjust that drag, it's too much, too much adjustment. And the fish just snaps your line. And that's what was happening to me specifically with the rud. When I found out that smaller is better, it blew my mind and I tried it. And now all of a sudden, some of these fish are going up to 60% drag and it feels right, you know? Instead of going to 5% drag and it cherry red ready to snap. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you each reel that you need. Now you can, you don't, if you don't have the money to buy all these reels, just get as close as you can to it. I don't think it's gonna matter that, it's still gonna be catchable. It's just the setups that I'm getting ready to show you is the easiest. If you have the money, if you have the gear, and we've got that 1000 rep right there, guys. And some of these I learned the hard way that bigger is not always better when it comes to these reels and lines. So try to match the reel with the line. Let's hop in and look at them, what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Let's just go to buy equipment. We're not gonna buy them, but I'm gonna mouse over these reels. Let's start with the prologue. You're gonna catch the most fish on the prologue. Now that is a 2.2 pound. That's the smallest spinning reel 
that you can get and listen to what all you can catch. You can catch actually seven gear challenge ones and you can catch five gear challenge twos. So that's 12 challenges with the prologue. And most people should have that. But you can get largemouth one, um, an illusion barbel one, thick lip one, brown trout one, thin lip one, red one, crucian carp one, thick lip two, brown trout two, thin lip two, red two, and crucian carp two. Now some of these are 1.10 pound, like the thin lip, red, and crucian carp, but this is the smallest reel we've got, so you just use that one for all of those. Now, going on up to the next one. Not sure where you get this. Evidently, you can't buy this mission. This must be a mission or a level reward or something. If someone could answer that in the comments, I'd be forever grateful. But the Kriya or the Kriya, not really sure how to pronounce that. I think it's Kriya. It's 3.31 pound drag. Now, there are three challenges that you can knock out with this one. That is Tench 1 and Largemouth 2, and Illusion Barbel 2. So there's three challenges that you can knock out with the Kriya. I would say it would be okay if you went up to the Tyro for that one as well. It probably wouldn't be that bad or that different uh, if you can't afford to buy the Kriya or you don't have it from a mission or level reward or whatever, then the Tyro would probably be okay. But the Tyro is the next one that we're going to talk about. Um, it will get you your Eel Challenge 1 and your Xander 1 gear challenges. So there's two that the Tyro will get you. Now the next one, we're actually going to go back to the store here because I don't even think I've bought this one. Again, I did some of these the hard way and used the Rattle Flug and just these big... i tell you what, I used a lot of the... I just wanted to use the Spanish rod and reel, really. The Cameron and the Spanish rod. I really, the Lucia. Uh, and I used it to catch a lot of these and I struggled. I mean, it was tough, but let's look. All right, so the next one up is gonna be your Belta. And I think it's that one right there. The max drag of 5.51. Again, you could probably just use the Tyro if you don't wanna fork out the money for that one. The Tyro would probably be close enough. But the Belta, you only need it for one fish, and that is the Tench Challenge 2. Um, I caught it on that Spanish rod and reel. And some of these you can, you don't have to, some of them's harder than others. But if I'm just, this is the easiest setup, and this is how you match them. So the Belta, only one fish. Maybe use the Tyro for that one as well, if you don't want to buy that one for that Tench Challenge 2. Now our next one uh, is responsible for three challenges as well, and it's called the Othello right here, the max drag of 6.61. And that'll get you the Northern Pike Challenge 1, and that'll get you your Eel Challenge 2 and Xander Challenge 2. So those, the Othello will get you three fish if you can try to get on up there to get that one. Again, you could probably do it on the Tyro if you don't want to fork out the money for the Othello, if you don't have that reel, you could probably make that happen on the Tyro. Small, smaller, be smaller rather than bigger. I know that sounds weird. The scope, which is right here, 8.82 pound. There's only one fish that's the Camiso Barbel Challenge 1 that you can get with the scope. That's up to you if you want to buy it. You could probably just stay back down there with the Othello and probably be okay again i'm pretty sure i caught it on the big spanish rod and reel but it was a fight if you're struggling you know you might want to try to if you have the scope put it on there for the camiso barbel it's the only fish though that that it does the next one up is the optic and that will get you two fish again we're talking matching perfectly the optic is right here you see this red reel it's pretty real it's 13.23 pound max drag, and that will get you Mirror Carp 1 and Camiso Barbel Challenge 2. So 
The optic is good for two of those challenges. And then that takes us to our next one, which is the Brudgeden. You could probably leave it back on the optic and be just fine for this. But if you want to match it perfectly, the common carp one, will, the Brudgeden will work on that. Probably leave work with the optic as well. So either one of those, but the Brudgeden is the 15.43 pound, which is what the common carp calls for. And our last, but certainly not least, you can see I've got four of them. The Rattleflug. Rattlefluge. Rutlefluge. Do not know how to pronounce that, but you see it on the screen. So there it is. Max drag, 22 pounds. Now that's going to get you your Mirror Carp Challenge 2 and your Common Carp Challenge 2. Now the Common Carp actually calls for a 27.56 pound line. So that is the way it goes, guys. Match that reel and the line up if you haven't. See, I felt so embarrassed because I feel pretty knowledgeable about the game. You know, I've been playing since it came out, since before it came out to the public back over a year ago. I got early access to it. We are all learning together. And I learn just as much from you guys as you guys learn from me. That's what us creators do. We take all that knowledge learned from other people usually. And we put it out there for everybody else. You know, if there's a thousand people watch this video, 10,000, whatever it ends up being, if we help that many people, you guys are just as much to thank for that as I am, okay? Uh, I'm not this big end-all, be-all, know-it-all fisherman with this game. There are things I learn on the daily basis here, and there are things that people learn from me that they didn't know. I learn just as much from the community but that's why this community is awesome. And if you've not joined the Angler Official Discord, I don't know. I mean, it's like you need to join it. But I mean, this it's a collection of data from around the community of people helping each other. That's what it is. Now, you're always going to run into trolls, but don't hang out in general chat much. If they start that trolling stuff, don't even look at it. Just go to the resource hub. Is that, that right there is worth joining the Angler Official Discord. But anyway, guys, we will be streaming Tackle Tuesday on Tuesdays. Imagine that. At 8 p.m. Eastern Time, Scarecrow, Bro Bra, Big Rig, Johnny Crow, who I'm battling with here lately, uh, Tony from DoorDash, CJO, Kensco. There's 12 of us. So, And I'm currently in first place. I have three second place finishes, so consistency. But I want to win one. Hopefully we can win one this week as it's pumpkin seed. Uh, depending on when you watch this video, it is pumpkin seed. But please, if you would, hit that like, subscribe, notify bell. That is all the payment that I need, and that is free dollars and free cents. Absolutely free. Thank you guys so much. Let me know in the comments if there's something that maybe I missed or some other little tactic you like to use or anything. I'm, I'm a sponge. I'm absorbing all this stuff. So thank you guys so much. We will catch you in the next video.